Now we all know while the holidays are fun, they can be stressful for some. Mm -hmm. So much so that it can feel almost like an extra job. This One that you year. don't get paid for, right? <laughs> We're expected to do everything from throwing parties to cooking to making sure we spend time with family and friends. So lifestyle expert Jen Fallick is our go-to girl when it comes to balancing it all. She's standing by with some holiday hacks. So Blue Diamond is helping you to hack the holidays with these really cute ideas that I personally love and are gonna make my holidays much easier, hopefully yours as well. Nuts, traditionally a holiday fave, and these are delicious gourmet almonds. There's really unique flavors ranging from black truffle to rosemary sea salt, and they're perfect for elevated celebratory snacking, but also a great hostess gift. So if you're running to a party, you forgot to get something, Stop by a convenience store, grocery store, pick up a bag of these, throw a bow on it, bundle, bundle it with a bottle of wine, and you are set to go. I also, you know, always want to have things in the house that are suitable for all different dietary restrictions. So many people have different, you know, diets they're following, different things they will, won't eat. So I love the Blue Diamond Original Almond Nut Thins. These are gluten and wheat free. They're made with almonds and rice flour. And they're perfect for guests who have dietary restrictions. They taste amazing and they really hold up. So they're crunchy, crispy, and sturdier than a chip or other crackers. And you can put them on a charcuterie platter, do them with dip. They're delicious, and again, this way you know that there's something for the gluten-free, you know, people on, uh, people who are coming over to your house. Also, upgrade traditional recipes. It's so easy to add a little spice to traditional recipes with the Blue Diamond Wasabi and Soy Sauce Almonds. Also, I love the Sriracha Almonds. They're perfect for spicing things up in the kitchen. They're great in your favorite holiday dishes, sub them into a salad, or I love doing them with roasted vegetables and then seasoning the vegetables with the Sriracha or the Wasabi or both. You can, you can mix it up. Um, so those are all really easy ways to be prepared to go to someone's house, be prepared to have people over to your house. Also, I love doing things the night before so that I feel prepared when I am the one entertaining. So if you're doing a buffet, you can prep all the platters before. Cut the vegetables, you know, slice the cheese, put it in the fridge. This way, right before the guests come out, you're set to go. And also, if you forget, if you don't have gift wrap around or you want to be a little more on the eco-conscious side this holiday season, I love wrapping gifts with newspapers, with magazines. I try and cater it to the person that I'm giving the gift to. So if I know they love cooking, I'll use you know some pages from an old cooking magazine, uh, things like that. It just feels personal, and also, obviously, it's a little more environmentally uh, friendly than traditional wrapping paper. And finally, if you want to add some uh, festive holiday decor to, decor to your holiday table, take the glass jars you have around the house, throw a whole bunch of different colorful ornaments in there, and you're good to go. You've got something bright, festive, and you don't have to water it to keep it alive. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All great, all great stuff. Jen, while we have you, you're an expert. I want to know when does your Christmas tree go up? Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, we go down to my mom's house for Christmas, so we don't ever even have to put one up because she's got a bright pink one that she puts up down in Florida. <laughs> uh, so, we, so, you know, I don't have to worry about it this year. Oh, you're lucky. Stay oh, out of the debate as long debate. as you can. Before or after Thanksgiving. Nope. That's Why, all I want to know. Why? When do you? What's the debate? So what are what is, is it before Thanksgiving or after? After yes. for both of us. Thanksgiving is late this year. Yeah. True. Okay, okay, after for yeah, I feel like after is a good way to go. Yeah. All right. There All we right, go. Jen, so thank funny. you so it's much. So much. So much work. It it is before oh, and you're after. <laughs> All right. You guys can head over to our website, firstcoastliving.net to check this segment out again.